How's it going everybody? This is Golden Bolt and welcome back for more Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon. In the last episode we tried to convince our dad Nuzleaf that it was time to leave the village in order to save everyone from the BHM, but he decided to oppose us for whatever strange reason that might be and so Gibbs is feeling a little lost. I wonder what's gonna happen today. Hey, you suck! Morning Gibbs, take care out there today. Remember how just yesterday we were like mad at each other? I guess I guess I was more mad than he was. I guess I'm kind of overplaying it a little more than I thought. Oh yeah, I wonder how things went with Barnaby. You fool! How many times do I have to tell you? It doesn't matter what you say. I want to go! I want to get out of this village and join the real Expedition Society. I want to join the Expedition Society and see everything this world has to offer. Why can't you understand that? Uh-oh, sounds like it's not going well. And I keep telling you it's too dangerous out there. You think that, you know, the, the amount of times Caracosta yells at Barnaby, they should probably put, like, actual doors or windows, because everyone can hear. I guess I don't. Maybe, it's, maybe that is common sense, but I don't think everyone really thinks that way. Hey, where do you think you're going? I'm gonna go talk with everyone in the village. We'll see what they think. Uh-oh, are you running away? Uh, Cause I'll, I mean, I'll do it. I'm, pa I'm mad at my dad too, let's go. Yeah, let's do it. Where? To the plaza. We have to ask everybody if they think we can make it on our own outside the village. I think everybody knows how hard we've been working lately. I'm gonna prove my old pops wrong. Let's go to the plaza. We have to ask all the other villagers. All of them? Literally all of them? Barnaby. All right, uh... Let's ask, uh, Roselia and Badu. Can I make it on my own? Why you say leaving the village, but is Caracosta okay with that? No, I'd be worried. Are you guys going away somewhere? Yeah, we're leaving. See ya. We're gonna run away from home, Barnaby. We're gonna do this. Let's go say bye to Esper, who gets this whole house to herself. Sometimes, oh, what'd I find? Pounce wand, okay, cool. Say so sometimes, of course, when she is actually here, but you know, sometimes she's just not here and that's just the way the world. All right, let's go to the plaza and go tell everybody what's what. What's up, Gumi and J Oh, girlfriend. Are oh, the two of you going on a trip? Oh, part of me has always dreamed of leaving the village. But if you guys are gone, I won't get to see you at school anymore. Oh, that's so sad. All right, girl, I gotta go do what I gotta do. Oh, you're gonna leave? Oh, if that's the case, I'll really... Oh, but part of me does want to see you at your... Oh, she does like me. All the grown-ups will definitely try to stop you. Girl, that has given me... That's given Gibbs the amount of confidence to just go out and do it. All right. Oh, what's up, man? Why is it so fun? Zap. Why is what so fun? Okay, you're a strange one. Uh, Mankey, Mighty Mankey has a short temper, yes. Uh, Hippopotus, what do you think? You're an adult of the village, right? Barnaby has always said these things, but I think it is dangerous. Uh, don't you all? What about you, Krennet Rampardos? Boxbuster, I guess you don't care so much. How about you, Satan? You want to leave the village, but you're still just kids? Shouldn't you wait until you've graduated from school? No. I don't care what Magby has to say. We're gonna leave. Do we have to talk to literally everyone? If we have to talk to Magby, I'm gonna be upset. Magby, what do you have to say? Are you both leaving? Yes. <laughs> I guess that's all he had to. That was his only two cents about it. All right. What about you, uh, teacher? Why'd you say you're taking a trip? What about school? What about your studies? I don't know a thing. Are you sure you should be telling your teacher this? What's a teacher to do in a spot like this? You know, tell me to follow my dreams. All right. I'm gonna tell the police that we're leaving. Unbelievable. Outside the village. I can't allow you to do that. Many dangerous look outside the village. Well, yeah, I'm gonna go do it anyway. You're leaving here? What a terrible idea. Far too dangerous. You're dumb. Okay. Cacleon, what do you have to say? What, you're leaving a village just the two of you kids? I certainly have been impressed by the work you two have put in here lately. I still think rushing away from the village would be a reckless move. There's school to think about too. Yeah, whatever. Who cares about school? He's just like, all right, now we'll now we'll d talk about selling some stuff. All right, I got some stuff I can sell. I'm gonna sell that. Um, because, and then one of our plain seeds and how many orange bears? Eh. I'll sell one of our slumber orbs and because we've got slumber, uh, slumber wands and stuff now, so I'm gonna sell, I'm gonna sell the slow orb too. We rarely use it. I'll buy all of them, yes, because we need, if we're, if we're actually gonna run away from home, I'm gonna need one of these, and, uh, ooh, should I take, no, we don't have enough for a progress device anyway, I'm gonna take two. Uh, it's never, it never hurts to, you know, to have the tiny reviver seeds. All right, so, should we go up to school, you know, see who's there, maybe start convincing some of the, some of the folks up here, maybe Simi is here. Do, do, do. We haven't heard this music in a while. We haven't been to school in such a long... It feels like it's been such a long time. What am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to... Like, is what? I guess Watchog is probably not here either. All right, so no one's here. But who's at school during the summer? So I guess... Uh, do we just leave? Bar oh, Barnaby was, like, stuck back there. I guess it's time to just go. Let's just leave. Let's go. Get, there's no time for that now. See the other... To ask everybody if they think we can make it on our own. I literally... I guess I haven't talked to... I guess I haven't talked to Kangaskhan or Halucha yet. Well, it's the two of you are leaving the village? How reckless. Welcome. Okay. Great. Uh, none of these guys seem to care. The people in here don't seem to mind so much. All right, so there's Kangaskhan. Uh, Halucha, what do you say? What? You say you're leaving? It's too soon for cute kids like you, brother, to go leaping from the top rope. Take it slow. Okay. You're a weird one. 
wait, can I have, uh, who do we use? I want, somebody reminded me to do this, and I think that this is a good idea. Uh, where is, where's our friend? Where is he? Uh, Dungeon Dragonite, uh, wait, what happened to, where is Sneasel? Am I just missing Sneasel? Where's Sneasel? Oh, there it is. Sneasel's on our thing right now. Yes, I want you to know Icy Wind. Remember, uh, I want to forget, I want you to forget Taunt, because I want him to have more moves, and while I'm here, and while I'm thinking about it, I want you to remember the rules. Yeah, brother! Uh, remembered Icy Wind. All right, we also want Sneasel to remember Metal Claw, because Metal Claw's a good move. And we can get rid of Leer for that, and then I'm actually gonna get, um, have him learn something also to get rid of Scratch. I just want him to have good moves, and I might be getting... We'll teach him... We'll teach... Mm, it's without fail. We'll go ahead and do Faint Attack too. And, uh, we'll get rid of Scratch for that. So now, he's got a lot of really good moves. Uh, cool. But now we've gotta go find more people. Now that I've done that... Okay, Sneasel's all set. We gotta go... Oh, we gotta talk to you guys. What, you see leaving the village? That's right, chump! There's no way you could pull off something like that. Wow, okay. What about you? Oh, you wanna see the outside world? There's no way. Wow. You guys are just all sorts of help. What about you, Lombre? What, you're gonna leave the village? No way, there's absolutely no way you can make it out there. I mean, you guys are just kids. Oh, I guess that was everybody. So, literally, they all say no, my old pops. I guess he was right. All the grown-ups said we couldn't make it. I guess there's no way as long as we're kids. Let's do it anyway, man. I am. I wanna see Lively Town so bad. I know they're just worried about us, but that is, and that is nice of them. I wish they would try to understand. But it is my dream to leave, and that takes a lot of courage to do that. Uh, hey, Gibbs, I just realized something. I acted like I was going along with you and leaving the village, but that's not the truth. I always dreamed about being in the Expedition Society. We, I, well, I know, I know, I'm not criticizing you. I know you want to leave. That's how I've always felt, but... Uh, Barnaby. Sorry, Gibbs. Looks like we can't go together. Oh, actually, about that. Wait, we can't? What? Nuzleaf said no? So you've been told not to leave the village too? But aren't those behemoths still after you? Why won't, why won't they understand? I don't know. Everyone is in danger if I don't leave. I guess we should just go home for now. Really? Barnaby, you are such a defeatist. Or am I just gonna leave without him? Oh, huh? Just now. I could have sworn I- Oh, the behem are here! Dude. Maybe it's just my imagination. This game really likes to creep you out with thinking you're being watched all the time. First the ghosts and now the behem are here. Ugh. I didn't see those behem today either. Maybe I should just stay here in the village like Nuzleaf says. But if they did show up here, what, do I, what would I do? I guess we'd have to fight them? I don't really know, Gibbs. That's, that's something, that's a pretty, pretty crazy struggle right there. Alright, so let's see if, I think, I mean, we just need to leave the village. We have to. It's necessary the next morning. Wakey, wakey, Gibbs. Today, maybe we'll actually leave. Tell our dad he's dumb. Hey, Nuzleaf, you're dumb. Morning, Gibbs. You heading out again today? I reckon you should be careful. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Yeah, you say that now. Just wait till I leave the village forever. Good morning, Gibbs. I swear Barnaby just waits at the window for me. Is this a major attitude adjustment from yesterday? I guess everything's fine. Hey, Gibbs, can I ask your advice for something later? Advice? Yeah, we did a lot of thinking last night and realized something. Well, let's just talk about it later. For now, let's do our best as Junior Expedition Society members today. You know, I was wondering if we were going to do um, another, like, Junior Expedition Society thingy today. And because I haven't really cut out anything yet, um, doing, like, side missions, I think I might actually do that today. Um, I'll show you guys which one I'm going to do, and then, of course, I'll add the Pokemon that we recruit in later. But I actually think I want to progress the story a little bit more uh, in this episode, since we haven't done that in a while. We got down here. Cherim. Uh, let's view Cherim's post. Uh, Stonefield. Let's go there. Uh, so let's go. We're going to go to Stonefield, and we're going to go talk to Cherim. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I will meet you guys after the uh, mission is complete. Um, so let's head to Stonefield. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and rescue Cherim, and I will see you guys in a little bit. We're going to take the squad, of course, with Sneasel's new moves. And yeah, be back in a little bit, guys. All right, everybody, we did a very good job. Everything is all good. No expeditions for today. Erasing completed expeditions from your list. We did a fantastic job there, everybody. We got ourselves a... Uh, we got ourselves an, a Cherim added to the team. We put in good work again today. That reminds me. Didn't you have something you wanted to talk about? What could it be? Yeah, about that. The thing is, I'm gonna go ahead and leave the village anyway. <laughs> Freaking... I was about to call him Nigel. Freaking Barnaby. What? I'm not gonna tell anybody. I'll just sneak out tonight. I know that's not the best way to go about it, but I can't think of any other way. I'll set out for Lively Town. I'm planning to go there to join the Expedition Society. I'm all ready to go by myself, but what are you going to do, Gibbs? Of course I'm going to go. Probably because we've been working as Junior Expedition Society's mem Society members a while. But also, being around you makes me feel stronger for some reason. 
What do you say, Gibbs? Will you come with me? Dude, of course I'll come with you. That sounds great. Yes, let's get out of here. What if I would've said no? Really? I'd, I don't like just sneaking away like this, but when I consider the behem leaving's my only option. I've got no plans beyond getting out of here either. So I might as well try to join the Expedition Society with Barnaby. Let's finally go to Lively Town. Finally. Ah, oh, I can't believe it. We can meet up in front of our houses once it's nighttime. Oh, we're escaping at night. Hasta la vista. All right. Hasta luego. Let's do our best. Hasta luego is afternoon, I think. I only took four years of Spanish. I don't remember, huh? Somebody's straight up watching me. Ugh, oh, that's so creepy. No one's there. There's something not quite right here. Maybe I'm just imagining it. It's the Bahiam, obvious. I mean, they're here, dude. Gibbs, you gotta watch out. You're gonna get, like, super attacked or something. This is so creepy. It's been dark out for a while now. It's about time to leave. Nuzleaf, thanks for everything. I'm so sorry to be sneaking away like this. All right, let's go ahead and save. And, uh, let's sneak out the window. Let's get out of, uh, let's get out of here. All right, here we go. Would you like to climb out the window? I guess so. I guess let's do it. All right, it's time to go. Nuzleaf, you took me in and let me stay. Thank you so much. Bye, Nuzleaf. Hate to have to do this, but here we go. Oh, there are doors. Gibbs. I didn't even notice that. Did you get away clean? That's good. Let's get going, then. Pops, I'm really sorry to be sneaking away like this. You always took such good care of me, even though I was nothing but trouble. I'm sure I'll be back when I'm grown. So until then, sorry. Let's go. How long are we going to be away for? Oh, yeah, before we leave the village... Would you come up to the hill with the big tree with me? I want to get one last look at it. Please come along. All right. Sounds good enough. Sorry, Nuzleaf. We leave in the village. It'd be really funny. Oh, do you think if we go into town, if everybody's sleeping at their... Before we leave, let's go to the hill. Oh, I wanted to, I wanted to go see if the people at, uh, like, the shops were sleeping at their shops, like in Red Rescue Team. That would have been an awesome nod if they are. If they are, I'm going to be really happy about that. All right, let's head up to the big tree and take a look. Man, that ancient barrow looks real creepy. I wanted to get a good long look at the scenery. It's finally time to leave the village. Of course, I love my old pops. And all our friends from school and even the teachers, too. But all this, there's all this beautiful full scenery. Just nothing but good things. Now that we have to leave, I feel the sadness welling up inside of me. But we do have to go onward toward our dreams. You're a great guy, Barnaby. Thanks, Gibbs. I'm sure of it now. Let's leave the village. Okay. We're all set. We had a good last look at the village out there. Let's do it. Let's finally leave the village. Let's finally go to Lively Town. I'm so excited. All right, let's hope. I really hope they're asleep. Wouldn't that that would be so funny? A yeah, nice nod to Red Rescue. Oh, no one's even there. That's cool too. Here we go, Gibbs. Time to leave. Hopefully, we can access our deposit box. <gasps> Deerling. Oh, everyone. I was gonna say Deerling actually came to say goodbye, but no, it's okay. But why? She came at least, though. We came to see you off. See us off. Yeah, do you think we're gonna go let you sneak off in the night? I figured this is what you two were up to. Why are you trying to take credit? Wasn't it Esper who found, first found out and told everybody? Esper? Sorry. I thought you two had been acting suspicious for a while, so I took the liberty of following you. Oh, you were the one watching us? Oh, okay. I'll be sad with your god, but I'll be cheering for you. Gumi. Of course, I'll be cheering for you too. Take care of yourselves and good luck. I've got to admit I'm a little jealous that you have a dream. My dream is just to kiss up to... Pan champ all day. Dear Link Shelmet, I'll be cheering for you too. That's the first time she said an exclamation point. Good luck. Second time. Well then I guess I'll be cheering for you guys too. So good luck out there. Esper, Pan champ, thanks everybody. Honestly, we we're just planning to leave without saying goodbye to anyone. But I'm happy you all came to see us off. I'm especially happy that Deerling did. She likes us guys. Huh? Look. What's this? These are letters from everyone in the village. Everyone? Sorry, we kind of told the adults to. The grown-ups should have just come to see us off, see you off with the rest of us. I guess is what they call trying to save face. I think they're just being nice. This seems just like a hassle to me, but go on and read them. Barnaby read the letters from the grown-ups. From all of them, you've always been kind of a brat, Barnaby. Whoa, I'm jealous of the way you're chasing your dreams, Lombre. Try not to eat too much. Take care. Eradicate. Then you are feeling lonely. Remembers the village. Hippopotas. Everybody. Child's dream can't be destroyed by adults. Best of luck to you, Simipor. Oh, that's a child's dream can't be destroyed by adults. Best of luck to you, Simipor. Principal. Let's see, how can I put this? Even if you were problem children, I bet this is Watchog. If you work hard, maybe you won't be so problematic. And on that note, good luck, Watchog. Even the vice principal. Good luck. Barnaby and Gibbs, I believe in you, Audino. I was surprised when I he heard the news yesterday. I'm glad you opened up to me. Good luck, Farfetched. Good luck, 
Follow your dreams. Satan, school is important, but it's all important to go after what you want in life too. Take good care of yourselves. And good luck, Roselia. Wow, everybody. Did our parents do it? We have a shop in Lively Town too. <gasps> you do, Kecleon, yay! Time to let these Time to let these cute kids fly away on their journey. Hiya! Be brave and never give up. Take care. And good luck, Kangaskhan. It wasn't the adults that it wasn't that the adults didn't understand what we were saying. They were just looking out for us and encouraging us. There's one from my pops. Go on, Barnaby. See you when you get back. Your adventurous spirit can't be contained. If you think you're ready, go see your dreams through to the end. Caracosta. Pops. Good luck to you, Gibbs. We, when we happened to meet and you came to live with me, I reckon it sure enough was fun having you around, Gibbs. I reckon I can't help but worry. But I'm cheering for you. Take care. Nuzleaf. Nuzleaf. Wow. Even our dad, who didn't want us to go, is letting us go. We'll do our best. We'll give it everything we've got. All of you take care too, okay? All right. I almost called you Nigel again. All right, Barnaby. Let's do this. All right, everybody. See you when we get back. Bye for now, Serene Village. We'll be back. I'm sure of it. Good luck. Take care. I'll miss you, baby girl. Have fun. She, she was the last one we heard, Barnaby. She does like me, and so Barnaby and Gibbs left Serene Village on a journey. Over mountains, through valleys, they traveled farther and farther east for days as they made their way to Lively Town. And I guess we'll go ahead and save. I'm not exactly sure what the time... How, what the time is supposed to be. My timer says it's about 14 minutes, but I don't know how long it is. We'll just keep going until my timer, until there's a decent time matchup. Anyway, chapter 11, Over the Mountains. To grandmother's house we go. Not really, but, you know, whatever. Wow, this is safe. Whoa, this cliff is crazy right here. I can't even see the bottom. It's pretty rough up to this point, but it looks like it's about to get even worse. Once we get over this big mountain, though, I heard it's not far to Lively Town. If we can just get over this, we should be almost there. Let's give it our best shot, Gibbs. Alright, does that mean it's a mystery dungeon time? This reminds me of when we escaped in Red Rescue Team, which, my, which was my favorite part of Red Rescue Team. I love that part so much. Anyway, we are here at Sheer Mountain Range. Probably should have got us a progress device, but you know, whatever. Wow, Sheer Mountain Rem Range kind of reminds me of that one mountain that uh, we had to fight. It was in Gates to Infinity. I can't think of what it was called, but it was in Gates to Infinity. Ooh, Power Boost X. I know what that does. That's super good. Alright, let's set that to ourselves. Power Boost X is real nice because it, uh, <laughs> if we find Y, then we get accuracy up, and accuracy is the best kind of thing. Oh, hello. Um, I can't think of what the, what the place was called, though, uh, that I'm thinking of. Uh, but it was where we fought, um, ow. Whoa, I just got killed! Whoa! This is dangerous! This is really dangerous, Barnaby, I don't know- Ah! Oh, there's another one! There's another one! Ah, haha, you missed. You missed me! Guess you'll have to- Ow. I guess you'll have to come a little closer, or just die from there. <laughs> There's a lot of sleeping Tyrogues. We didn't have to kill him. You really didn't need to do that. But anyway, since I can't get this thought out for whatever reason, I'm talking about the place that we had to fight, um, Perugly and we died at. That's the- that's the place I'm thinking of. Alright, roll out better hit. Dang it. It's gonna be one of those- no, sorry. I was gonna say sorry, Barnaby. I have to fall asleep right now. I have to do that. Like, right now, I need- There's a lot of Pokemon on this- like, there are a lot of Pokemon on this floor. We've only been through a couple of rooms, and we're like, getting sworn- I forgot I gave you Force Palm. And now you're good, because you have Force Palm, Snow Runt. There's a lot of just Pokemon that- oh, sorry. I didn't mean to turn it- have you cheer at me. Get over here. Are you just gonna- you're just gonna- you're just gonna stay over there? That's- that's annoying and frustrating, but whatever. All right, let's hope this actually hits you. Shouldn't have not, I can't say I'm surprised though. He used double team one time, so of course we're gonna miss every shot. Of course we're gonna, he used double team one time. Of course, of course we're gonna miss every shot. Dang it, Barnaby. All right, I'm gonna eat this now. I'm gonna eat this right now because we already died. Come on, it's literally every step we take. And now we have to fight one a, a timber. All right, what? It's, it was like every power boost act. Dang it. Really dead end. This is going to be one of those dungeons, guys. This is going to be... This is already that dungeon that I don't like. No. It's every... It's like every... Every time we miss. Like, it's just missing, missing, missing. Please don't miss. Uh, yeah, that's fine. We'll do that. Please don't miss anymore. It's... 
<sighs> okay, Barnaby, can you help? Would you like to use a move? What is this? Okay, you can take the power boost X because I want the Y when we find the Y inevitably. Hopefully, when we do, we need this. Okay, we need the Wonder Tiles. We need to find the, the freaking exit, which we cannot find for whatever reason because this dungeon is gates to infinity in me. Like, look at it, dude, this dungeon is... Sorry, sorry, Barnaby. This dungeon's huge. Dude, come on. Come on, that was all just a big square game. We're on the first... Whoa, we picked... What the F? Where... Hang on, where the heck are we supposed to be going right now? I guess there's area over here. That was weird how we like went super fast and went across all the those Emera shards. That was weird. But anyway, there we go. Man, that took a while to get to the first staircase. Wow. All right, uh, we'll probably get through the second staircase and then I'll probably have to end the episode off because uh, this dungeon, this dungeon's gonna be a long one, I guess. All right, we're gonna go ahead and swap this with that plane seed that we have now after dying already. Oh, Fletchender, okay, oh, okay, all right. There's just, now there's just birds to deal with. That's not good at all. I do not like dealing with birds. They are not good to do. Yeah, you keep punching. Ow. Don't do. Ow. Why did I have to cover Barnaby? Dang it, Gibbs. Dang it, Barnaby. Everybody misses. Just everyone all the time. And it's so frustrating. Please die. He's still not. I'm dead again. Why? I die so much. Like, I die so much. Please, Barnaby, I need help. I can't do this. I cannot. Oh, we defeated the Rufflet. All right, we're gonna eat this because we already need it. And on this freaking second floor of this dungeon, I don't think we can make it, Barnaby. I don't know. I don't know if we can make it. This is ridiculous. We're at one mountain range and I've already died two times. I've already died. Like, like, Muzzleaf's son is dead twice. Dang it, vacuum wave drop. We don't want that to happen. Can you flinch at least? Thank you. Oh, it didn't matter. When he flinches, he goes to double speed. That's cool. I remember that I really, really dislike fighting you. So I'm just gonna use Bite all the time, man, because Bite at least is hitting people. Maybe Bite just has, like, better accuracy than other moves or something like that. I really don't know. Sorry, I'm sorry, Barnaby. So I really couldn't tell you, but I imagine that this is gonna be quite a hellish dungeon to get through. So let's just keep using Bite. What whatever. At least I can hit him. Barnaby, you notice that his own HP is very low. Will Barnaby use an Ornberry? Yes, Barnaby will use an Ornberry on himself. Bite. Chomp, 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 chomp. Mmm, love me the taste of Tyro getting bit. All right, was all of that pointless? Okay, I was gonna say, was all of that entirely pointless? Well, we are here at the third floor of the mountain range. And I think I'm gonna end the episode off here, ladies and gentlemen. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty crazy. We're actually, we actually left the village. But anyway, guys, we'll see if we get to Lively Town in the next episode. Thank you guys very much for joining me on this installment of our adventure. From me to you, have a very nice day, and I will see you guys next time.